for me, uh, in my journey here at Young Care, this is one of our most exciting new developments for young people with high care needs. So we're going to have three villas at the front and a, and a group home, which will also house another three residents. And in particular, these are six individuals that are coming from quite complex backgrounds, and we're really going to be able to provide a home here for them. And I'm just genuinely excited. For Latham, I think it's, it's seeing him develop on his own. Watching his personality come out without having to shine behind us and watching him be the forefront now. Yeah. And to know that he's going to be happy, safe and well cared for. It'll actually be great that uh, meeting everybody be like a, like a second family. I'm looking forward to having my own space and like doing my own washing and, um, and my own cooking and making some new friends. This, this place is amazing. Yeah. What, what they can create. It's actually quite mind-blowing, really. And the house is beautiful and... and the layout is just yeah. spot on. This project has really a partnership approach, not only between CHQL but also Young Care under Queensland Government. And I think it's a, a model of excellence showing what can be delivered when strong partnerships come together to have a greater impact on the community. So the, the project was development with choice in mind and we wanted to bring, I guess, the opportunity for people to interact. Social interaction is really important, so we have breakout spaces, we have a community garden, we've got a community room. So it's really about making sure this is home and that people can live independently with dignity and choice. After looking at the job for a very long time, it was design and construct, so we literally saw the job from butter paper all the way through the detailed design process and then luckily enough to construct it. So seeing it come to life is, I guess, a long time coming, but fantastic for the community and people involved. Typical differences with a project of this nature is the accessibility, uh, so it caters for people obviously with disabilities but there's a lot in the electrical reticulation and access requirements that you have to adhere to to make their life a lot easier and I guess more accommodating. We're really proud of the partnership and seeing the project come to life and we're really excited about doing future developments together. You'll see that Young Care has actually put everything that we've learned over the last 15 years into this design, but not just into the design, into the way people live. We've got design standards, but we've also got development guidelines that say that people have to have a young life. So we're near railways, we're near coffee shops, we're near pubs, we're near, we're near hospitals if we need to on public transport. This isn't just about um, building a home, it's also about creating a, a wonderful young lifestyle. I'm looking forward to exploring the new neighbourhood.